beautiful day today. Oh, I didn't see you guys there. Welcome guys to the episode 3 of my Thailand trip. So, of course, I'm on the balcony again this morning. That's admiring the view, you know. <clears throat> so next to me over here is our breakfast. Mmm. We got some pad thai, two plates of it from yesterday's delicious pad thai shop. Did I ever mention how delicious it was? Well, it was delicious as heck. It was beautiful. So yeah, we got this one for breakfast. So we are slow. We of course have tea again as a beverage. So that's pretty cool. So let's enjoy this pad thai while admiring this gorgeous view. guys so right now we are in Wat Chalong so this here is a super which is also a part of Wat Chalong it's so huge I've never seen such I've never seen such a fancy stupa before what a stupa is is a like a tower that holds the Buddha's relics or at least some monks relics one more really the white one oh yeah we should go check the uh, white one out so all the way back there Alright guys, if you were watching yesterday's episode, you remember that we saw a huge bright building in the city. This is the bright, big bright building, which is the stupa of Wat Chalong. It's so grand and gold, and then look at all these beautiful designs. It's beautiful. Not only that guys, but in front of this stupa is a bright green beautiful garden. Look at all of its nice decoration and bushes and flowers and trees. Beautiful. On the side of the strip, as you can see, there's a few towers like that contain bells in them. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, we're very close up now. You can see this like bell tower here and with the stupa as well it's so high up when you enter the building there's a like a big gate on every side so that's pretty nice Stones to show how pure they are. Look at all those Buddha relics. It's 
beautiful. We are still on the second level as you can see. And of course there has to be windows. So there's a nice window over here. You look up, you can see the rest of what? Spirits. Look around, you can see the other buildings of what's along. And there's a third level, so let's go up to the third floor. Alright, guys, the third level is open air, and you can see the stupa. Pretty cool. You can go up to a, like a fourth level where you can see the inside of the stupa. Alright, guys, we are in the fourth floor, as you can see. This is the Lord Buddha's actual relic. It's all the way inside this like glass tube because, of course, it's holy as heck. So yeah, basically, you can, if you pray to this relic... I think it's a teeth. It's his teeth? Oh, cool. Basically, if you pray to this uh, relic, you're technically praying to the, directly to the Buddha himself, because, yeah, this relic is his own body. How did she get up here, cat? How? <coughs> Was she trying to pray to the Buddha's relics as well? Alright, guys, so we just seen the stupa. Let's check out this temple. The Reverend Father Abbot. What does that mean? Well, anyway, let's go check out like this temple. And upon entering, you're gonna have to take off your shoes for obvious reasons. And then over here, you can see like this the entrance. It's very nice, got a lot of nice design, very gold green color. And inside is the Buddha. As you guys can see, we are now inside the temple. And there's a Buddha that we have a gold sticker on it. Alright guys, so we are in front of the big temple right now. Wow, it's so beautiful. Um, before we go in, we're gonna have to take off our shoes again, so let's go in now. Okay, so this is the inside of the temple, and basically you can offer flowers, and yeah, you can even pray for good luck over here using these good luck sticks. And yeah, as you can see, there are three statues of monks, that you can also put leaves of gold on it, on them. Behind the statues of the three monks, you can even see a golden statue of a monk inside this glass casing over here. It's very nice. And if you look at the room, it's absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so this side is the actual main entrance of the temple. So it's pretty cool. Alright guys, so, so right now I'm actually standing in front of the place where they light off the firecrackers. And it looks like they're going to light off another box of firecrackers. So I'm going to stand back and you can watch the whole thing. Okay guys, so right now we're watching from a safe distance. We should be alright. Okay guys, they're going to light it off. I'm covering my ears. short one. Oh, so yeah guys, basically it's like a chimney. You, they burn the firecrackers in here safely and then all the smoke goes into the air. Yeah, you can actually pay money to buy these firecrackers and let them light it and you can watch and listen the whole thing. It's like there's the aftermath. Oh yeah, so this here is a different temple and wow, the, the crystals and the glass on it look so shiny. It's beautiful. So right now we are at the main entrance of the gate and yeah, basically we're gonna walk through and look around it. So yeah guys, that's the temple over there and yeah, that's the door. Okay guys, as you can see, this is the side of the temple. They got like these like um, nice detailed golden um, window frames as you can see. And over this side, as you can see, the overhangs of the roof. There are the, the overhangs are like on different levels somehow. Cool. Alright guys, so right now we are on the back door as you can see. There's a lot of fine detailing here. And if you look closely, you can see a Buddha up there. Yeah. 
So yeah, basically we are the back door of the temple. It's pretty sweet. Oh well, guys, so basically we've seen the entirety of this Wat Sha Long compound. Absolutely beautiful and magnificent, I say. Beautiful. Oh look, you see it's stupid over there. Oh yeah guys, I forgot to tell you. But around the, the Wat Sha Long compound, there's also a few like uh, markets. You can buy drinks, foods, and maybe even some um, flowers to uh, offer to the Buddha. It's pretty cool. Bye bye Wat Sha Long. We are in Old Town Phuket. And look up over there. There's like a clock tower in the middle of the street. Hi right, guys, so as you can see, that's the clock tower. And behind me is a meat on poor restaurant. So, yeah. yeah, they also sell pork something. And basically, yeah, this place sells me tompo, which I guess is a noodle. Let's go see their product. Hi right, guys, so this is the inside of me tompo. As you can see, that's the shop name, me tompo. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty clean here. As you can see, it's also a very cooling because of the many fans they have. And yeah, let's go see their food. Hi right, guys, so on this wall, you can just go see. It's the people who own, who ran this restaurant last time. So I guess it's the grandfather, the father, and the son. That's pretty cool. So along this wall, you can also see the many different types of food that they serve, like noodles and rice and stuff. And yeah, it's like there's the kitchen where they cook all the delicious food. And inside there is the kitchen where they make all the delicious food. Oh yes, guys, if you remember just now, we saw a stall selling satay. So here it is, satay. It's not satay, it's a meat on a stick. And basically you can dip it into this like uh, peanut sauce, along with some vegetables or some onions if you want. So yeah, pretty cool. They even gave us this like crackers. Yeah. Alright guys, our food is here. So look at this, this is mi tonpo. It's with some noodles with vegetables and some egg. My dad's also having the same thing. Okay. Bon appetit. If you guys are wondering, this is the outside of the shop. Bye. Alright guys, so right now we are actually going through um, old Phuket. So yeah, most of these shops are quite old and some of them last up for quite some time. So yeah, there'll be a lot of stuff here because yeah it's old pocket. Yes. Can you tell them what happened when you were here when you were like three, four months old? Apparently last time when I first came to Phuket and apparently three, four months old, I can't remember. Um I could not eat anything in Thailand because I was that picky for some reason. So yeah, my parents came around here to look for KFC or some stuff like that. Apparently also I pooped a lot last time and there was no one for me to poop last time and my dad certainly didn't want poop in his car so we stopped at the petrol station apparently and yeah I made a big mess everywhere so, yeah and the petrol station attendant had to clean my butt guys so right now we are about to connect to the Kosiri which is an island so right now we're going to connect using the Kosiri bridge connects the mainland to the island here we go we and touchdown 
so late. So right now we are in Kosiri Island. Yeah. This post box as a monkey with some coconuts. We didn't know Kosiri Island is actually very famous for monkeys. There are monkeys almost everywhere. Over here, there's a. Uh, there are sea monkeys that live in the sea water in the swamp. Really? Now that's a swamp land, is it? Those are what they call the swamp trees or trees or swamps. Yeah. They're, these are sea monkeys, special ones, very live in the sea. <laughs> Alright, guys, so look what we bought before we went on the platform. We got some bananas from some of the vendors here. So yeah, you can buy um, some bananas and show it the monkeys for them to eat. So yeah guys, so this is the platform that we can actually see the monkeys on. So let's go on it. Alright guys, welcome to monkey land. Look at all the monkeys. Monkeys. Aww, they're just drinking water. So cute. So yeah guys, this is the swamp. As you can see, there's a lot of water and of course a lot of mangrove trees. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see monkeys crawling everywhere, which is pretty nice. They're everywhere. Can you spot the monkeys? I see a monkey. Do you see a monkey? There he is. Okay guys, let's throw some bananas at the monkeys and feed them. So should I just throw the cup? You will sure throw in the water one, right? you better throw nicely. Meaning what? Just leave like that. Reach that one there, those sitting there. Woo! Oh, I just made the day. Monkey, monkey. That's a skip. Oh, they just peeled it open and ate it. That's nice. Another one? Yeah. Me. Here you go, Dad. Have one. I have to eat one bite first. I Cut. paid money for it. So yeah, look at this little tiny banana. Dad, why you ate it? Are you going to give it to I'll the monkey? I'll give that one then. Oh. I was going to say there's a lot more monkeys. These two ate already. That one already eat. That one in the back. Daddy has an incredibly strong throwing up. So yeah guys, we can basically feed the monkeys. Oh, come here. Okay, that's enough. Let's throw another one. <laughs> Which one should I throw it at, Dad? Up to you. Oh, How hard can you throw? He gets it. Really? Yeah, you got it. Where? That one over there. That was very bad. Eating a banana now. No, I'm not eating a banana. Okay, if you can't see it, I shall throw another one. Banana, guys. We've got another one. Hmm, let's see. Which one should I throw that? Whoever hasn't eaten. You don't know about it. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, that one doesn't seem like it's so I'm gonna try to throw it to him. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? What have you done? I don't know! I just hit one on the head! Sorry! Look guys, there's some guy over there like trying to feed the monkeys like that. He's just going straight up to them. They're all hailing him as as king now because of because he has a lot of food. He's feeding all the monkeys. All the hail the human king. He has the food.
guys, so we're back from the monkey party. So yeah, right now we are waiting for my mom to finish taking pictures. And look in front of us, this lady is making some sugar cane water, which is, um, which is actually pretty sweet. So yeah, so basically she's just shaving off like the bits of the sugar cane and then she's like cutting it into small pieces. And then how'd you get the juice? Um, I think she puts it through like a machine and then squeeze out the juice. Okay. Then over there is the machine that they use to make the juice. So they insert it, it crunches it up, squeezes all the juice out and it makes that thing over there, the juices. Guys, it's the ocean. It's wonderful. On the other side of this ocean is Krabi and Pee Pee Island. So right now we are in front of Westin. We we actually had to make a U-turn, so we are using the car park as a uh, so you turn and look how freaking fancy it is. Beautiful hotel. And look, the Westin. Just driving in some gypsy restaurant. Uh, basically, they are sea gypsies and they have no land, but uh, they have a restaurant here. So yeah, this is the sea gypsy village. Alright, guys, so right now we are riding through the, the sea gypsy village. So, yeah. Hear the sounds of the ocean, birds chirping, the waves crashing. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, you just passed through the entire uh, Sea Gypsy village, so well, you turning again to go to Sea Gypsy village. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, actually, the Sea Gypsies here are quite uh, friendly. It's a nice place, nice village. Guys. All 
sorry guys, it's 12 o'clock. So let's go eat lunch. We're here at this at this restaurant called Krala Pun. So yeah, let's go see what they have. Huh, there's a light behind the restaurant. Oh well, guys, the inside's pretty nice as you can see. A lot of people eating. It's lunch time, so yeah. It's pretty sweet. Alright guys, so this is the place where they cook all the delicious food as you can see. Oh look, there's some dishes going on already. So yeah, this is the place where they cook the good stuff. So yeah, let's see what um, food that we have ordered. Over here is the second kitchen where they make the food. Oh man, that smell though. It looks like he's frying something. Look at all this crisp. Oh yum. Yeah, he's definitely making something fried in there. I don't know what it is. Oh, I think it might be ours to be honest. There's there are actually very few people here. Oh man, I exploded. Alright guys, so this here is the view that we're getting from where we're sitting. You can see. It's pretty nice. Like if you take a picture right here, you can use it as a postcard or something like, hey, I'm in Thailand or something. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful. Alright guys, if you look around the restaurant, you might see some of these wood carvings. It's pretty nice. You can see they're all wooden and they are carved. So that like so this one's like a picture of Ganesha. Like, uh, as a god. And then over here we got another wood carving of four ladies in the forest playing music instruments for long. And over here we have a picture of some elephants in a jungle. These are all wood carvings I tell you. It's pretty detailed. Looks like all our food is here. Oh wow, delicious this. Alright guys, so look at all the food here. So yeah, the first one we're gonna start with is this one. It's a sausage. Then we got deep fried pork. Then we got mashed eggplant chili. And then over here we got a few vegetable dishes. Then over here we have a um, some lard. And then over here we have some cow soy. And inside this little basket here we have sticky rice. So let's eat guys. Hey guys, look, it's so hot today that they're spraying the road. No, that's way too hot, mum. See, even the water is boiling, there's like bubbles in it. It's a very popular shopping centre called Jung Ceylon. So this is the back of it. Pretty cool.
safari elephant trekking. Let's go look and feed some elephants. Okay, I think like here's the restaurant and bar. You can basically order food and buy drinks here. Look guys, elephants! Yay! You don't actually have to pay the ticket for anything. But the only thing you can pay for is souvenirs. And of course, rides on elephant. Look, they're basically carrying chairs. Look at all the elephants. They're just standing there eating some leaves, you can see. If you're, if you're, if you're interested, you can actually feed the elephants. Over there is like a information hut, so let's go look at that. Over here is a stand where you can buy bananas for the elephants to eat. They don't have peanuts. Yeah, sorry. So over here, there's a very nice information hut. Differences between Asian and African elephant. The main difference between these two is the fact that the African elephant has an extra vertebrae at the top. And the Asian elephant has a shorter vertebrae, as you can see. It's uh, lower. So yeah. There's this next one here, training the elephant. Basically, using this thing called a um, mahout. Oh. So, yeah, basically, the person in control of the elephant is the mahout. So, basically, there were um, reflex actions caused by pressure from mahout by location of nerve center. So, basically, if you touch like one or two, which is the trunk, the elephant will move its trunk. So yeah, basically there are a whole lot of numbers here and there are many other numbers on the elephant. Whenever you touch that place of the elephant, it will do either one, like for instance, kneel, reverse, how the elephant walk forward. So yeah, basically it's like driving a car, you just have to remember all the places where the elephant moves. Then over to this one is the Asian elephant introduction. The next one here is about the royal white elephant. It's very rare. The next one here is about the Thai elephant history. So yeah, pretty cool. Hey! Oh. So basically, you can actually feed them. As you can see, oh, no, he's feeding you a, a stick of bamboo. Oh, such cute elephants. Oh, no. So, you guys, you can see all the elephants here. Cute things. Hey! I've actually been here a couple of times. Last time they didn't have this information hut and this fruit stand and this fancy souvenir store. Last time all they had was these elephants and a very small stand to buy the food for the elephants. But after two years, it's upgraded quite a lot. Hi, Mr. Elephant. Hi, Mr. Elephant. The trunk is so long. Okay, this worker over here is trying to bring the elephant over to this platform because, you know, they have chairs on them. And what that means is that you can actually um, stand on the platform, get an elephant's back, and go through a trek through the jungle. So yeah, pretty cool. Oh, I was mistaken. He's just, he's just having a little bath. Look, he's just taking a nice bath. He's all dirty and dusty, and nice buff will cool it down. Yeah, but they actually do, they actually do, do the rides, just so, just so you're wondering. They actually do rides. Look guys, ice cream coconuts. Okay guys, right before we left, we got um, this um, coconut ice cream from a coconut ice cream vendor. So yeah, I'm gonna eat some. See you guys later.